what I've learned this summer while I was at home. Okay. okay. Mama, would you like to call them out? Yeah. Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace you are saved through faith and not of yourself. This is a gift from God. Okay. 1 John 3, 15. Do not, if you, if you hate your brothers and sisters, you are a murderer. And you don't, no murderer has eternal life residing in him. Okay. Uh, 2 Samuel seven twenty two. This is why you are great, Lord God. There is no one like you. There is no one but you. We have heard this ourselves. Okay. Um, 1 Samuel 7, 3. Okay. So Samuel said to all the Israelites, if you are returning to the Lord with all your hearts, then rid yourselves of the foreign gods and the astral wrath, and commit yourselves to the Lord and serve him only. And he will deliver you out of the hands of the Philistines. Or hip hop way. So Sam said to all the Israelites, if you are returning to the Lord with all your hearts, then rid yourselves of the foreign gods and the astral wrath, and commit yourself to the Lord and serve him only. He will deliver you out of the hands of the Philistines. And then there is Psalms, Psalm seventy three, twenty five. Whom shall I have? Whom have I in heaven but you? And on earth I have nothing to desire. I think that's it. That's very <laughs> close. You just learned that today. Tw Proverbs twenty twenty two. Do not say I will pay you back for this wrong. Wait for the Lord to avenge you. And John 3.16. John 3.16. So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. <laughs> okay. Don't do that because they can see me when you do that. Um, And do you know Genesis 1.1? 1, 1? Uh, yeah. First verse in the Bible. Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning God created heavens and the earth. Who created? In the beginning, God created heavens and the earth. Okay. Philippians 4, 4, my most favorite ones there is. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Okay. Do you know? Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Okay. Do you know um any, oh goodness gracious, let's see, about the armor John, of God? Oh. Ephesians 6, 10 through 11. Put, put on the whole, wait, put on the whole armor, armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles, the wiles of the devil. <sighs> Ephesians 6, 14. Stand therefore having fastened on the belt of truth. Ephesians 6, 14 through 15. Put on the breastplate of righteousness and have you shod your feet with the gospel of peace. Ephesians 6, 16 through 17. And taking the helmet of salvation, I mean the, the, the <laughs> shield of faith, and uh, so that you may be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one. And Ephesians 6, 18, 17 through 18. You know they're in take, Ephesians 6. That's good. The helmet of salvation and the sword of spirit, which is the word of God, praying always. Okay. And then there's this John, John, I think, 14, 8. I think that's it. No one. Okay. Start over. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Okay, um, that was part one, to be continued. Okay, and so I want you real quick to tell the people that are watching this, if they want their eternal place to be heaven, how do they get there? You ask Jesus into your heart. It's really that easy? Yes, and then you go to church and pray and... Like, pray and go away, like in that verse, and read the Bible and worship God and sing. So, uh, 